What's up guys, my name is Dylan Shortness. I'm a licensed HVAC technician. I do installs and service, and I record myself doing it. Make sure you like and subscribe. All right guys, to start this video, I just wanna say I hate installs like these. It's slumlord rental properties that have a furnace hacked in there, bubble gum and duct tape holding it together. And I gotta come in there and put an evaporator coil on top of it, condenser outside, run new line sets. And at the end of the day, I'm the one, I'm the last one to touch it, so. I can't make it perfect because it's I got to do what's in the bid and then again I can't leave a lot of the stuff how I find it just morally it's wrong so I hate installs like these I made sure it was looking good and running good before I left I did what I could for them and uh installing an AC on 100 degree day stay tuned all right today we're installing a condenser and an evaporator coil I don't know where it's at so I really don't know what to expect of it yet Sometimes these can be pretty easy. Sometimes if you're in a crawl space or an attic or something, they aren't so easy. So I guess we'll see where it's at and how it goes. Stay tuned. You guys already on your way out to the Fort Hood. Yeah, but you left a few. I've never seen this. <laughs> how long do you think this took? Probably 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so this house has a furnace, no AC, so we're adding a coil, uncased coil right here. We're gonna see if we can fit it in there and build some brackets. This is quite the rental house, I mean. Yeah, this is what we're working with today. In and out, quickly. And no, we're not making this install perfect. I didn't sell it. I would never bid this kind of shit anyways, but we're gonna get it done, it's gonna work good, and then I'm out. What's this doing here? All right, we're dirty, actually dirty. Hold on. Look at this basement, I can't even stand up straight. All right, we're making some progress. Here, let me turn this around. All right, well, the lights are back on. I can see something. We got the metal done, we got the line set ran. We're gonna go to lunch and then braze it in. Change this pump out. Yeah, clean this line set up. Dude, it is so hot. Torch in the backpack. We are pressure testing it and we're gonna put it on the pump and we are going to Lowe's. And I'm driving slow with the AC on. <sighs> Let's see, right now, 94. Feels like, I don't even know, 100,000. We're about done though, wrapping it up. Ninety-five. Okay, we got the vacuum done under four hundred microns. We start it up now. Add some charge. Boom. This my glove. Sounds a little. Sounds like a Goodman. Sounds like a Goodman. All right, let's see what we got. I'm literally just dripping sweat. All right, we're gonna measure the line set and weigh it in. Check our pressures and temp split after that. But that's just the easiest way to do it and the best, most accurate way. So let's go do that real quick. Fuck. 
to the wall? Yeah. Okay, we got 18 and then turns in a foot. 19. 22 foot line set. Comes pre-charged for 15, so we need seven times 0.6 ounces per foot. Let's do the math, hold on, I'm so done. That's 4.2 ounces. So that's what we're gonna weigh in. I didn't account for this foot right here, so that's another 0.6. It's right on the money. We're gonna take a temp split after this. All right, I know I said it was hot the past couple of videos, but today I'm not lying. 104, feels like 110, oh my God. I gotta get some air. I need some air in the tire and some air in my lungs. Oh my. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm home now, time to take a shower and relax. If you liked it, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos. Peace.